So in this video, I'm going to install Linux Mint 22, and this is called Wilma, and this is just a quick review. So I'm going to be installing this in a desktop computer. I already downloaded the ISO file and created a bootable USB drive. So I booted up the desktop computer. I'm going to select the USB drive to boot up from. I'll start Linux Mint. Okay, so this is the installation page. Here I have to choose the language. I'm going to leave it as English. Uh, click continue. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as English. Click continue. So this is multimedia codex. And there's an option install multimedia codex. I'm going to check the box. Click on continue. So this is installation type and there are two options. Erase this and install Linux Mint. So on this option, something else, you can create partitions here. So I only have one hard drive in this computer. I am going to select erase this and install Linux Mint. I'll click install now. So here it gives you a warning. If you continue, changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. And it gives you a warning. This will destroy all data on any partitions you have removed, as well as the partitions that are going to be formatted. I click continue. Here you have to choose your location. I'm in New York, so it's already set. You can also move this red dot. I click continue. So here I have to create a user account. I'll type a name. Now I'll type a password. So it is login automatically. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Require my password to login. I'm going to leave that selected. There's also option to encrypt the home folder. I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'll click continue. Installation is complete. I'm going to click on restart now. Okay, I'm going to log in. So this is a welcome page and you can uncheck this if you don't want to show this dialog box at startup. So these are some of the steps. You can launch software manager, firewall, system settings, update manager, there's driver manager. This is documentation. This is help. I'll close this box. I'm going to right click the desktop and I'm going to change the desktop background. And there's Linux Mint, there's Wilma, and there's Pictures. I'm going to select Wilma. And these are some of the wallpapers. So I'm going to choose this as the background wallpaper. There's also settings, and you can play backgrounds as a slideshow, picture aspect. These are the options. There's background color. You can change to a solid color, horizontal gradient, or vertical gradient. And you can choose the background solid color from here. So on the lower left side, this is the menu, and this is all applications. This is accessories. Okay. 
This is graphics. This is internet. This is office. So LibreOffice is installed. This is sound and video. This is administration. This is preferences. And there's places, recent files, you can also search here. This is the files folder. I'll open up a picture. I'll open the Documents folder. I'll select Documents. And this is a PDF document. This is Xreader. So this is Firefox. So I'm going to change the team. I'll go to Start. I'll click on System Settings. I'll select Teams. I'm going to select Dark Team. I'll choose this color. So on the lower right side, this is the clock and the calendar. This is Date and Time Settings. This is the volume icon. This is song settings. This is the printer icon. This is the updates manager. So I'm going to update all. I'm going to select install updates. I'll click OK. So it asks me, do you want to switch the local mirror? I'll select yes. So I'll close this. So I'll right click the panel. I'll click on panel settings. So these are some of the panel settings. Always show panel. I can auto hide panel. I can adjust the panel size. And there's also a panel appearance, left zone, center zone, right zone. There's font size. 
This is the colored icon size. This is the general panel options. I can add a new panel. And this is allow the pointer to pass through the edges of the panel. I could turn this off or on. So this is the system settings. And there's appearance, there's preferences, there's hardware, administration. I'll open the software manager. I can search for software apps to download. These are some of the categories. These are top rated. I'll click on preferences. And these are some of the general search options. There's this option here for flat packs. Show unverified flat packs. I'll turn this on. And it also gives you a warning. I'll install GIMP. So I'll open Thunderbird Mail. And here you can set up your existing email address here. There's settings. And there's general. This is composition. Privacy and security. There's chat. I'm going to open Matrix. And Matrix is a form of real time internet chat. It is primarily used by Linux Mint users to ask questions and help each other. And you can connect to the matrix here. So you have to create an account and you can sign in. I'll type online accounts. So these are some of the online accounts you can configure. So I'll open the terminal app. I'm going to type sudo app update. I'll type sudo app upgrade. So I'm going to open the file manager. And this is the version Nemo 6.2.2. I'll right click anywhere in the space, create a new folder. I'll right click the folder, click on properties. I can apply permissions, share. Install emblems. For example, I'm going to select this emblem. So on the Linux Mint website, you can read more about the new features of Linux Mint 22. So in this video, I installed Linux Mint 22. This is the kernel version 6.8.0. This is the desktop environment. 
Cinnamon 6.2.3. This is the desktop environment version, Cinnamon 6.2.3. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.